Hello everyone. Hope you everyone are doing good. So in this uh, video, we're gonna see about Spring Boot security with Okta. So I'm gonna choose Okta because uh, it provides more, uh, you know, features for authenticating the user, and it also allows you to, you know, um, uh, register the user with uh, all of the social logins. Uh, and and it is also easy for us to, you know, integrate Okta with uh, Spring Boot. So without further ado, we'll jump into this video. I'm gonna sign up into Okta. Let me go to that URL. So this, here you go. So this is the URL you have to go. And I'm just gonna fill out the details. And I'm gonna proceed further. What is it? Can I contact to the top? Okay, let me refresh the page. Thank my internet connection is slow. Let me connect to a different one. So now it should work. Yeah, there you go. So once you give all your details and click on continue, you'll see a page where you can select your role and the list of stack uh, which you're working on. So you just have to select those, select this and you can select custom app and you can select all the stack which you're working on, click on continue. That's what you have to do. So I've already done. So I just have to sign in to that. I'm just gonna sign in. Uh, okay, yeah, this is my account. Just moving into the page with the credentials. So once you, uh, you know, um, if notification needed, it's fine. Let me verify it. Uh, give me a second. It should be sure okay that's fine so i think that's and that's okay uh here you go so once you uh, you know uh, complete your sign in and you know verify your email id so you will get this dashboard so in this dashboard you can see uh, users application api workflow and customize everything so first thing what we have to do is we have to create our application so let me create an application uh so i've already created an application let me create a new one for a demo so here once you cl uh, click on create application you will be able to see um, the list of platforms which uh, you know you're gonna choose. So for an angular you will select single page application and for web and service you can select web let me select web it's gonna be web application click on next and here i'll name it as a demo app okay so it's gonna run in this one localhost 8080 all the other stuff let me leave it as it and i'm gonna select authorization code okay and click on done so if you create this so now you can see your um project details okay so now you can see your client id and your client secret code so this is very much important that uh, we want to use this inside our uh, Spring Boot application. Okay. So uh, once the application is done, we can move in, you know, to our uh, Spring Boot application. So I'm I'm gonna use the same application which we were using in our previous. Um, uh tutorials in mean, the videos so if you have not seen our previous videos please go through um 
our channel playlist the technology playlist and you can find all the previous uh, videos on this project particular demo project which uh, you know on the web services and other stuff so here what you, i'm going to do is the first step i'm going to include the octa dependency so that dependency is going to be uh, octa spring boot starter so the group id is going to be group id it's going to be com dot octa dot spring That's it and the artifact ID artifact ID is octa dot octa spring secure spring boot start okay and I'm gonna use version 1.4.0 okay so I'm gonna save this it's going to pull the dependency into our uh, application so let me stop our application let me stop it just uh, yeah it stopped and let me do maven update Okay, so this will you know, pull the artifact which we have mentioned and here comes the main step what you have to do is so, you know we have to put the uh, client ID and the client secret code and the URL which where we want to redirect and we also have the issuer so that's nothing but the authentication server URL so that I'm gonna define here octa dot Auth to dot issue. Okay. So this one I'll let you know where you have to pick from. After dot auth to client ID. Oh my god. Client ID. Client ID and uh, client secret. And after robot we're gonna put the redirect url so the redirect url is gonna be our uh, application url i'm gonna redirect it to http double slash local host 8080 okay um, none so here we have to uh, redirect it to our callback url all this from um as we have already seen we have to take uh see the login redirect url so this is what the redirect url is so we can take uh this uri alone and put it inside here as a callback uri and the secret code is here i'm just copying it and pasting it here and the client id it's also copied and it's pasting it here and this one the issuer so this one i'm gonna create the api so this one what you have to do just go into api and authorization server so this server this server i'm gonna use so that'll be default um server that we can make use or else you can create your own as well so I'm gonna use this. I'm just copy. I'm just copying this issuer and pasting it. So pasting it here. Okay. What is the Here it is. 
which should always be like this. Sticking this and paste it here. So that's it. So with this, so we have integrated Opto into our application. So uh, now let me create a uh, blank kit mapping. So let me copy this and paste it. Let me make it as a get mapping. Get mapping, and this is gonna be direct get mapping it's just not gonna have anything and display welcome so this is gonna be our message uh, this will display a message which you want so I'm just gonna return a string string Welcome. So I'm going to pick the username from the uh, from the authenticated user object. Okay. authentication principle I'm going to take it from here and it's going to be o -T -O -I -T -C user of user okay I'm going to take user dot get full name so there you go Okay, I think I have to pick it from a different package. So let's just remove it. Still have to take it from core. Okay, that's fine. And that's done. But now it should work. So let me go to the browser and let me open a private window so that because I've already logged in in this window. So even if I hit the URL, it will directly show you the my name so i'm just going here localhost uh 80 80 enter so it's gonna call opta and uh, okay i think the server is not up let me start the server okay start so once you hit our application you are a little you know Call the issuer. It will it will call the issuer and it will authenticate and it will redirect to this URL. Okay, so with with this client ID and crime secret code, our application will get called from the Opta. Okay, so let me go here and hit the URL again. Okay, so there you go. So you got the of the page you know without even uh, coding anything so you are authenticated by the help of Opta. okay i'm gonna put my email id okay and it's assigning it it's gonna hit a uh, hit the redirect URI, and it come it will come back to over project see here welcome my name so that's that's simple the security is added to our application um you can also add um uh, the opto api and get the list of users which are you know signed up into the application you can also configure the page you know um the users can register see if you look at the users and registration so you can see um, whether user can um, see the sign up link or not and what are fields you want to add so those fields you can add here okay uh, it's that simple 
and uh, I think I've covered the security with Okta. And in our next video, we'll be seeing how we can use uh, social login uh, with the use of Okta. Okay, uh, that's it from this video. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends. Um, and we'll see in, a, in another video. Thank you.